And guess what I'm going to show you now? That. Thousand subscriptions and I get play you at the shape of hair. I dug it out. It's Randy Rhodes teaching me when I was young. This was not when I was older when he came back to do the few lessons. I didn't want to bring in a tape recorder then because I thought he would think I was being like I want to get him on tape now that he's bigger because he taught just before the diary tour and I thought because oh, I'd already seen him play at the you know the sports arena or the Long Beach ah, geez I get it it's not the sports arena it was Long Beach arena and uh, so I'm like no 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 I'll just go in and take lessons and I have the tabs to that somewhere that he wrote down and I wrote but this is when I was a wee lad fresh out of Larry Larson's and this is what I found. I used to work at Killeen Music in Burbank. And anybody that used to go into Killeen Music in Burbank remembers the pick box. They were 20 cents a piece. 20 cents, 20 cents. And it was it said Jim Dunlop, but it had all sorts of different picks. So when I worked there, they'd gotten a bigger one from another pick company. I think it was uh, Fender. I think, I don't know. And it was a big display, so they threw this, just with the picks and everything, put it in the back. I'm like, dude, I want that case. And they're like, why? I'm like, because it's memories. Look how nice it is. It's in great condition. This is from the late 70s, mid to late 70s, early 80s. It's got national thumb picks. It's another national. There's a Ernie Ball. I've got a clean music pick here. I've got a Larry Larson pick. Well, that's Fender. Where's the clean and Larry together? Larry Larson. Only two or three people are really like, go, whoa. Killeen music. Their newer one, when I was working there, they had a bunch of these made. And they gave them to me to throw out if I ever started playing, which I did. And I and I threw them out. And here's the first Killeen music. A little teeny Killeen music. I got that too. And, you know, I'm like, this is worth something to somebody. I would pay money for it on eBay because it means something to me. Remember the heart-shaped... Anybody remember the heart-shaped Gibson picks? <laughs> I thought that was so... Loving. I was going to say gay. But, uh... And here is... I'm a... Raven Maniac. Oh, Raven. Somebody Raven. Yeah, everybody used to have these picks... I'm a Raven Mania. I, I don't know who that is, really. Anybody that does, tell me. Raven. Somebody Raven. I don't know. The band Raven. I don't know. Uh, lots of crazy picks. Gibsons, Fenders, Dunlop, of course. Pink. I have a lot of pink picks because I love the pink ones. So they give me a ton of these Fender mediums. That's a Jim Dunlop pink, but I would prefer the Fenders. They were a brighter pink. That's a Jim. That's a Jim Dunlop. Where's the Fender pink one? I got everything. Sam Ash picks. Old Sam Ash. Uh, just crazy, crazy. Paul Stanley. I got so many Kiss picks. It's ridiculous. Here's a Paul Stanley. Here's another Paul Stanley. It gets old. I got a billion. There's a Jackson. Here's the uh, pick of Destiny. I don't know what this is doing in here. I think I just throw picks in there every once in a while. See? So now I can play like, you know, anybody. 
And I didn't even have to break into the uh, stupid uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But, uh, yeah, I could go on and on. A PV pick. So, I'm glad they let me keep this. for Just, like, take it, man. Get rid of it. So, you want to hear this Randy Rhodes tape? I will not. I'm just going to play it straight through. That's it. And you guys will get it. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, it's only like 400 and something. See, I don't know how many I have, so it's like 440 something, 449 or 400 and something. Just do it, man. Once I get a thousand, then they'll let me start doing stuff because they're blocking me from doing anything else than what I can do. I want to do live shows. I want to do live shows with a band once I get the band together, and then I will do shows and broadcast them live and taped. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to, you know, write the album with you, but it's taking so effing long that people are getting confused. And hell, I'm confused. So, that's that. I'm going to go out in a blaze of notes and I will talk to you later. <laughs>
your balls, Wayne. <laughs>